feature videos, magazines. FNX will be promoting the Aboriginal music experience at the Indigenous Angels concert in Los Angeles. The AUX series aims to highlight native and indigenous talents showcasing music videos from various genres. The concert is being put together by FNX featured artists Lightning Cloud and serves as a benefit concert for undocumented children being held in facilities throughout the country. This concert that we're doing on August 26th, Tuesday, is different because it's a benefit concert for all of the kids that are being called illegal immigrants that are being held in Texas, California, Arizona. So all the proceeds are going to help them get soap and toothbrushes and um, you know all the stuff that they need to be okay and uh, so basically there's donations at the door you can donate five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars and for every dollar you get a raffle ticket so we're having all these amazing indigenous artists that are donating prints original artwork we have funky echo hawk and Stephen paul judd and designers donating pieces and you put your raffle tickets in whatever piece that you want and at the end of the night we do a draw and you get to take on that piece. We're going to have um, artwork from my man Voltan representing insurgents, prints by the homie Ernesto Yerena. Just many, many, many artists have gotten together to donate their artwork. That's what's special about this concert. And it's also a hip-hop concert so you're going to get a full night of live hip-hop artists and all sorts of talent from Los Angeles coming out to put on a show for you. As far as MCs go, you know, you got Red Cloud, Pigeon John coming through, Aslan Underground, we're gonna have two Max there, and a few other artists that are still being confirmed. And as an MC, I was very blessed when Red Cloud asked if I wanted to go ahead and join to be able to provide a set for him. And really, my thing is because of the fact that, you know, I am Mexican-American, I am Apache, Native American, it's something that I really feel is close to home. Not only because of the fact that these kids have been called illegal and aliens and everything else, but at the end of the day, it's because of the fact that, you know, a lot of them are Native American. The piece I'm donating, basically, it's, you know, it's graphics just combined with a little bit of a graphic CD, I guess. And um, basically, the whole idea behind a lot of these pieces is that there's a lot of, you know, chiefs, you know, that uh, as indigenous people, we've admired what they've done in the past. And we're trying to bring back that way of thinking in order for the youth today to be able to like understand and move forward with those ideals that are still, you know, basically current to this day, man. Like these issues that they faced, we're still facing today. So perhaps by exposing like our youth to a lot of these uh, philosophies will help them engage and become more involved in changing uh, our reality as indigenous people. At the end of the day, this is not an illegal immigrant issue. This is a humanitarian issue. This is little kids who, who need your help. They, they're innocent. They're indigenous, they're indigenous angels. They're, they're kids. They don't know what's going on. They just know that they're, they're leaving a, a really bad place filled with hate, filled with, with drugs and gangs and, and, and rape and everything. And their parents are saving their lives by sending them to America, sending the United States. This is showing that you know we're gonna take it a step further than a symbolic awareness and really manifest what our talents were, what we were given, we're gonna go ahead and bring that for everyone else to not only be able to enjoy and spread the awareness of what we're doing as individuals, as artistic individuals, but also the fact that you know these kids that are getting stuck at the border, these kids that are getting told you know you need to leave and go back because you don't belong here, things like that. You know, I mean, we're able to expose that. We're able to empower these kids. We're able to let them know, you know, at the end of the day. We got their back and that's what we're here for because we want to be able to provide that. FNX will be at the concert to interview artists and attendees and to garner support for The Ox, which premieres Friday, September 19th. More information available at the address on your screen.